When we think about patient-centric drug development, certainly enrollment is a key component that has shifted from being site-centric to more patient-centric. Sometimes it's through traditional enrollment methodologies, but more often than not, it's through other um, alternative enrollment methodologies, such as social media, direct to patient contacts, and even through ancillary, um, through ancillary care that they may receive uh, for their disease. We're now able to actually go through and apply our analytical tools to detect signals where patients believe that they're having a benefit or a potential issue. For example, we can look at the types of questions that they're posting out on their social media accounts, and through those questions, we begin to understand what they might be experiencing in real world situations with these therapies. I absolutely think that we're starting to engage patients much earlier in the process, and there's a number of ways of doing that. You can engage the patient voice um, in a more disparate way by individual patients being um, contacted and giving the opportunity to input, or you can use mechanisms like our site advocacy group, which uses a number of very experienced physicians who've seen multiple clinical trials and multiple patients, hundreds of patients a year. They enable the collective voice of the patient to come through into the protocol design. And that's a really efficient way that we've found of incorporating the patient voice into clinical trials. When you talk about the digital technologies, uh, digital media and social networks, I think we need to use all channels that we have at our disposal and basically try to reach patients directly uh, through these. If we look at the rate of, of technology innovation in the last five years, it's been quite phenomenal, both in terms of telecommunications, in terms of mobility, some of the things that we're seeing around you know, social media. We're starting to see those technologies and capabilities being harnessed now in uh, in, in engagement and actually in the way research is conducted. I think the, the main thing to remember is that with the advent of large data and large analytics and social media, we have a responsibility to be very careful and thoughtful about how we use this information. The new era of technology also opens a variety of new opportunities, but also to the investigators opens challenges because you are sitting in front of patients who have a much higher awareness of their condition what are my treatment opportunities, what are my risks. We always have to remember that they contribute of their own free will to provide a lot of critical data to get medicines not only for themselves but also their fellow patients and their fellow citizens.